So this add-on can be found under B1 apps distribution. There are some general setup setup uh, rules that we can that we can prepare, but I would like to show you just a very simple process for receiving stock and for dispatching stock. So as I mentioned before, the the main uh, advantage of this add-on is that it allows us to use the the scanning uh, functionality. So we can basically use the very simple Bluetooth uh, scanner for entering the for scanning the data into into the system. If we compare this to the full-blown WMS system, it's just simplifying. It's just making the, the the whole transactions much faster. But we don't need to have the 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 full WMS solution in place to to be able to to process uh, stock transactions much quicker. So if I go to product receipt, um, here we've got the login screen. So we can assign a user that is able to log into both receipt and, and dispatch transaction. Here we just want to enter the, the, the receiving. So I just click OK. It is possible to, to also give the, the individual PIN numbers for users, so only people who should be who should log into those transactions so that, that only they can they can access the system. So here is the main overview screen for the product receipt. You can see that uh, we've got some of the fields in here. So um, at the top we've got order selection. So this list, if we click here, will display all open purchase orders for us. So uh, basically it's listing all transactions that are ready to be processed, to be received into the warehouse. So uh, let's just select the last one. Uh, also, a side note: we can select multiple multiple uh, orders at the same time. So we could uh, select uh, three orders and process them in one go. So let's just select choose. And I prepared three items for this uh, demo. We've got one item that is uh, just a regular item. We've got one item that is batch uh, number managed, and we've got one item that is serial number managed. So just to show you, now we've got the focus here in the right top corner in the field current barcode. So the system is ready for scanning. So if we are in the warehouse, we would take our handheld uh, scanner, uh, sorry, we would take our Bluetooth scanner and we would start scanning. So this is the code that I've got uh, for the first item. So I scan it. I'm just kind of imitating the, the, the Bluetooth scanner. The system is identifying which line is that, so it's uh, by, by using the barcode we can easily identify the code. And it's showing that, it's, highlight, it's highlighting this line and it's showing that we've got open quantity of one, and now we can also enter the quantity that is actually received. So there, there are three options in here. We can receive the quantity that was uh, ordered, we can um, we can get the quantity into the warehouse bigger than that was expected, and also there is uh, an option where where we can receive the quantity smaller than was expected, and all of that will be indicated here in the in the status field. So you can here you can see we've got this this arrow um, showing at the moment that we didn't receive any of those items. Also on the left bottom corner you've got the information how many products are ex uh, expected and how many of them are scanned, what's the difference as well. And also we've got the number of units expected, the number of units scanned and the difference. So that's, that gives us the, the visibility of um, where we are with scanning this, this particular uh, document. So let's say we receive more than we expected. So I'll just go into that field. Press enter. So the system is giving us warning message uh, saying that we over receive because uh, I entered two. Let me just move this bar a little bit. Oh, actually, I received twenty. So you can see the status. Uh, we received more than we that we are supposed to that we are supposed to receive. So that's the first product that we've got uh, scanned. Then another product that we are going to scan is the batch number 
um, manage product. So let me just scan the barcode. I press enter. It's 100. And again, the system will go to the line where this batch number is assigned. So the system will automatically go to the current quantity field and we will indicate that we received quantity of one here. I press enter and the system will automatically, this add-on will automatically change the status. So you can see that um, the quantity expected was one, the quantity that I received is one and as this is a batch uh, number manage item, the system will ask me to populate batch numbers. So again, I could use my Bluetooth scanner for that. So let me just enter the batch number. And then if it's necessary, we can also add some other dates like manufacturing date or expiry date. So I press update. And then the last item that I will be scanning is the serial number managed item. Okay, I think I need to enter the quantity correctly. So I press update and press OK. And then the last item, we are not going to receive it so that I can just show you that uh, the system will also indicate that uh, there are some differences and the, the stock was not received in full. So we finished our scanning. You can see that uh, there is an overview here. So we expected three products to be scanned in, two of them were scanned. So the system is showing the difference of one. And also with units, we scanned 21 units, 20 in the first line and one in the second. So again, the system will show the difference minus 18. We can now create goods receipt PO, which is a standard SAP document. So I will do it. And I will confirm it. So now if we click on this orange arrow, we can drill down into the goods receipt PO document created. So as I mentioned before, the difference between that way and the standard SAP way of processing a purchase order into the goods receipt PO is that we can automatically scan those items. So rather than entering uh, the item codes or item descriptions uh, on the document, we can scan those items and they will automatically be highlighted on the on the list and we can then enter the quantity and scan the scan the uh, the, the barcode as well if we have if we have labels for for the barcode so this is speeding up this this allows us to 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 process those items much faster than than usual usually in the in the standard sap so that's the goods receipt po document that we've got i will just close it Another side of this pro uh, process is the, the project, uh, product dispatch. So we received the product into the warehouse. Now we would like to deliver this to the customer. So again, we can assign a specific role for, uh, for the dispatching screen. I've got one role, distribution user, for both transactions. And this screen is a little bit different because um, during receiving we could uh, identify all purchase orders, but here we can identify orders, uh, we can identify what we would like to deliver based on our orders, or we can also use the picklist functionality, so we can uh, deliver uh, based on, on the, on the picklist document. So let me just open the, the order selection. Uh, we've got the order here, number 29, so we are going to dispatch it. So
So the system is now listing all the, all the lines that we've got. And again, uh, we can see that there is an open quantity. We've got delivered quantity column where we can see what was delivered, what, was st what is still not delivered, then the status. So it's very, very easy. Uh, it allows us to very easily identify what's the status of the current line and the overview of the dispatch process. So again, I will take the Bluetooth scanner. I will scan the, the item. Maybe actually I can start with the uh, second one. So automatically the system will identify the line, that's line number two, and we are asked what quantity are we receiving. So uh, what quantity are we dispatching? So I just click one. And you can see that the status is automatically changed to, to confirmed here. As this is a batch number managed item, we are asked to select which batch we are, we are picking. So let's just take this batch. I will just indicate the quantity of one. So this is the, the item, this is the batch number for the item that we, that we scanned in. I will scan another item and the system is asking for the quantity so I will quantity of, put the quantity of two in here. Again, there is a warning message because we are receiving, uh, we are dispatching more that we, uh, that we should so the system will just ask us to, to confirm the transaction. And you can see that now the system uh, confirmed the status, two lines are, are uh, ready to be dispatched and the third line we will skip it for the moment. So let me just create delivery based on, on what we just processed. So the delivery document is created. And you can see here we've got two items. Uh, I think I scanned in just one here. And there is a full visibility of, of the process because we can go back to the base document. So this is the, the sales order that was the base for, for our delivery document. And also on the delivery document, if we right click and if we select batch number transactions report, you will see that there is this item a0004 with batch number 996 that we just dispatched. So just to summarize, uh, this add-on gives us two additional screens, one for receiving and one for dispatching. And this is a solution that might be useful when you would like to uh, speed up your, the, the, the processing of, of uh, receiving and processing of dispatching, uh, but your company is not yet ready for the, for the full-blown WMS solution with bin locations and with, with uh, handhelds, with a, with a big handheld use for scanning of the product. This allows us to, to, to scan uh, the product barcodes, it allows us to scan the, the um, batch numbers as well. And it's speeding up the, the, the whole process of identifying the, the, the product, the line, on the, on the document. So maybe now, if you have any questions, uh, Ian, would you be able to unmute everyone?